he cannot understand it. For they are spiritually deserved. Praise be to God. The things of the spirit are foolishness to the natural man. He cannot understand it for they are spiritually deserved. So if you're in the flesh and you look through the flesh and see through the eyes of the flesh, you understand nothing and it's foolishness. Bless the Lord. But the Holy Ghost, only the Holy Ghost can deserve. And there is a war that is taking place that the Spirit of God has to tap into. Praise God. We spoke last week, Michael, uh, Gabriel, wrestling against principalities and powers. And it affects the church and earth. A war was taking place in heaven that was affecting the church here on earth. There is still a war taking place. And this just for edification. Praise God. That when you see the spirit move, it did make no sense to the natural man. The scripture said he cannot understand it. For they are spiritually deserved. So I have to enlighten us, praise God. And give us an understanding. Praise God, there are real angels, wicked angels. There are real wicked angels and evil spirits. The scripture said, many spirits are gone out in the world. John said he saw, praise God, three unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon, the beast, and the false prophets. These spirits are roaming the world and they are trying to destroy the people of God and to destroy the church. Praise God. You think when you hear of voodoo, and witchcraft, it is spiritual. It's not spiritual. When you hear of black magic and spell, it's not spiritual. There is a true thing called Obia Man. Praise God. Right, Sister Shem? Praise God. These, these are real world. There are real things called voodoo workers. There are real things called witchcraft workers. And they truly tap into people's life. They can get in your home. They can mash up your business, mash up your life by sending evil spirit. They can send evil angel to destroy you. You have no power of your own to defend yourself. Praise God. When angels have been relieved to destroy you, there's nothing you can see or do about it to stop it. It takes the Holy Ghost, praise God, to get into that realm to fight that battle. To counteract the forces of darkness. Praise God. To counteract the plans and the plots of the adversary. Praise God. Uh, met one day, Pandre, I went, I used to work for a different company. I've seen so many things. Praise God. I've seen these people laying down in flower all over. I've seen people laying down in rice and sprinkled and all kind of thing and candles. I ask them what they do, praise God. I've seen these people burning all kind of candles yes, yes. and, and question what is this about they can tell you. This candle is lit for my boss. I'm putting him under subjection. You think it's a vain thing? Praise God. They don't like such and such this neighbor next door. Praise God. They light candles and send angels to mash up your life. To give you trouble at the workplace. Praise God. 
you can't do nothing about it. It takes the Holy Ghost to tap into that realm, to blow a candle, to overturn a table. Praise God. So the prophet Isaiah said, when the Spirit of God, pray God, when the forces come in and the enemy comes in like a flood, he said, the Spirit of God lifts up a standard against them. Praise God. Amen. So when the Spirit is moving, it tap into realm, breaking down, destroying, counteracting. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. That not even a, a, a word, a preacher can get into that just by quoting some scripture. It takes the Holy Ghost to get into that realm. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, praise be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. And, and, and if you think we're not under attack, we're under attack. Praise God. And, and, you know, and, 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 and these days, doctors and doctors, and, then I can, I'm getting frustrated. Specialists upon specialists. There's a real battle going on. I can't go into much. Praise God. And, and, and it takes God. Praise God. Bless the name of the Lord. Well, we're practicing and anyone speaking, no, no, no moving. It takes God, the Holy Ghost, to tap into that realm. To counteract the forces of darkness. So when the book said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, these are wicked angels that live in the heavenly realms and fighting on earth. Praise God. And Bible study is wonderful. But the book said they will believe and they tremble in the book. Praise God. But when the Holy Ghost stop into our realm, he counteracts the force that darkness and push back the powers of hell. Praise God. So the songwriter said, let the spirit move. Let the spirit move. Oh, praise God. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, praise God. Most church can't touch this. I went visiting somebody last week. That's all I went visiting. Praise God. And this is what most churches go visit. This is what is that they have come down to. And they can't touch it to this realm. So anything can be going on. Praise God. They can't touch it. They don't know what to do. I got there and look at praise God. God. And so many spirits, praise God. So many cross and so many wrong spirit and bad spirit but without the Holy Ghost you don't know what to do then go through the motion and read Bible and go through the motion that's it that's all you know. praise God people life is being destroyed and there is nothing can be done about it because there is no Holy Ghost to tap into that realm praise God to counteract the forces of darkness Bless the Lord. You know I'm a Bible man and I love the book. Praise God. But I know, praise God, just quoted scripture and the devil can't touch this realm. I know just knowing Bible can't touch this realm. Praise God because anybody can know Bible. All you need to do is to study Bible to know Bible. Praise God. But when the angel move against you, praise God, it takes the Holy Ghost Bless the name of the Lord. So the book said when the enemy comes in like a flood, he said the Spirit of God lift up a stand against that forces. Praise God. And the book said the things of the Spirit makes no sense. Foolishness to the natural man. He cannot understand it. For they are spiritually deserved. Bless the Lord. So I encourage us to get in the Spirit. Get in the spirit so we can join into the battle. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. You could be here 
and your great grandmother could be all the way to Jamaica and Africa and die. There is nothing you right here can do. You don't even know. Praise God for the Holy Ghost is serving and see what's going on with great grandma and the Spirit of God lift up. Praise God and cast it that angel away from great grandma. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. So we are a spirit filled church. We are a Holy Ghost Church. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And I thank God for the blessed church of God of the first all. Praise be to God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Oh, praise God. For only the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Can counteract the forces of darkness. Have you ever been to any of these church and they thought about principalities and powers? You won't even hear that. As they quote it, they just quote over it and leave it alone. They don't know what to do with it. But the scripture tells us that's what we are fighting against. Wrestling against principalities. Praise God. Powers. Dominion. Throne. All these evil angels. Bless the name of the Lord. And the church is in a battle. So may God help us. Praise God that we understand these things. And when one move, the whole church. Whole church move. Praise be to God. And let the Spirit have his way. Sometimes God fighting for you and you are sitting there lost and don't even know. Praise God that the angel can be set out. Praise God to come and to destroy you tonight. And the Holy Ghost get involved and said, not so, go back. Praise be to God. Go back. Bless the name of the Lord. So may God help us that we understand these things. Praise God. So we can join together in this great battle that we are in. Back to our mother in Jesus' name. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Let the church worship God. Let the church worship God. Just stand on your feet and pray. Bless His holy hand. Bless His holy hand. There's victory for the people of God. Power still to the old place. You're the pillars of the enemy that she wants. But with a conqueror in the enemy, you're going to put your head and go and see the way. speak I won't read because he have his own message praise God time is far spent praise God I invite to speak up for today our speaker for today is brother be friends praise God at the church welcome stand on your feet now glory to God hallelujah
God bless you. Praise God, missionary, our praise God, praise God. 
guy. The first thing that comes to our mind, brother Nico, is ship or boat, something that sail in the water. Glory to God. Glory to God. And you know, years back when I was much younger, we have this famous TV show that comes out. Glory to God, which was a reality. They call it the Titanic ship. So, glory to God. And I'm sure many of us today are aware of watch that movie before. Glory to God. And when I view the story, I view the whole engineering of how the ship was built. Glory to God. We realize that this ship, they said it was one of the largest ship in its time. Glory to God. And they built it for the strong tides. They built it for the wheels. Glory to God. They built it for the storm for it to survive. Glory to God. I'm coming to that pastor. Glory to God. But in the human form church, sometimes we totally forgot that we don't wrestle with the flesh. Glory to God. And we have to understand that here is a authority above more than our simple little mind. And I remember at some stage while that ship was sailing. Glory to God. The engineer at that point he made a statement that not even God himself could have been to see the ship church of God. Because he had that belief or that assurance that nothing would be able to stop Titanic. Glory to God. Glory to God. Class. 
some scope, some bigger things that could see from a distance. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. But make sure our anchor holds and grip that solid rock. Glory to God. And we all know that our solid rock is not on the iceberg. Glory to God. But our solid rock is Christ Jesus. Glory to God. So why they were sealing it? The captain said that they want to make a mark. They want to create history for this ship because it was the first time touching on the shore and the waters. Glory to God. So on the journey, the pilot said to move a little faster. The captain. Sorry, glory to God. To move a little faster because we want to create history for this ship. Glory to God. Glory to God. But why Titanic was still on its journey? It meet upon something greater than it. Glory to God. Glory to God. It meet upon a He think and believe that he could put his way through that iceberg. Glory to God. Glory to God. But I hear the only that declare that my hope is built on nothing else. That Jesus Christ and his righteousness. I do it. So Titan is iceberg. Glory to God. Glory to God. And when they realize that Titan finds itself in these deep, deep waters, glory to God. I get to understand that they start to sing it nearer my God to free. Glory to God. That song when trouble arrives. But my encouragement to you, Church of God, let us put our trust. Glory to God. Let us put our faith, our hope, and our belief in Christ Jesus, who is our ultimate rock of salvation. Glory to God. Glory to God. For the foolish man, be those upon the sun. Glory to God. The scripture. Glory to God. The wise man built his house upon the rock. For the foolish man built his house upon the sun. Glory to God. For the little did he know that the rock is a strong foundation. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. A 
stand strong. Glory to God. But let us build our foundation upon the side rock. Glory to God. Because we know that we rest not against flesh and blood. Glory to God. But principalities and powers. Glory to God. And if our foundation is not built on the solid rock, glory to God. When the wind, the wind, the storm, the rain came, glory to God. It's going to blow away our anchor, church of God. But let our anchor, anchor in the solid rock, glory to God. And the solid rock is Jesus Christ, our Lord. God bless you all in Jesus' name.